What's up guys, how's it going? I'm on the road at the moment. I'm having to yell a little bit. Hopefully this is coming through all right to you. But I'm headed down to Wyoming here, going straight over to Powell, Wyoming, because the professor of outdoor education over there, a good friend of mine, has asked me to help out with his uh, water-based course. Um, basically, anything to do on the water, kayaking, rafting, paddle boarding, you name it, you know, anything really. Uh, but gonna go help him out and I'm really excited for that because next month we're gonna be doing a trip on the Green River through Deso and Gray um, so that's really awesome it'd be my first big trip of the season which um, kind of uh, really compacts and makes the start of my summer really um, fast and crazy because I'll be on the road quite a bit be on the river quite a bit and then at some point in time I'll end up in Washington which after that point I'll be a little bit more relaxed hopefully <laughs> But other than that, I'm excited. So get over to Pal here and have some fun with the, with the students over there. If you're ever passing through Wyoming, there is uh, not much to see in spots. It's the, uh, the land of open spaces and very few people. Uh, very similar to Alaska, although Wyoming is not above the Arctic Circle. So not as cold, but still, a lot of open space around here. There you go, you're looking like a boatsman already. <laughs> Yeah, that's like uh, the snow base one this winter. There were two kids who were signed up for it. They never once came to anything. Like they showed up on Zoom once or twice, but <laughs> never they didn't come out climb, ice climbing, didn't come out skiing, didn't come out. I mean, free lift ticket to the I mountain. Know, like what? Nothing. It's like, okay, well, you're the one who paid the money. I know, right? It's crazy. It's up to you. Ah, uh, she's climbing, yeah. Okay. Okay, the best thing I ever did was back in the ag stock trailer all the way back up behind the lake. Into the whole back door of the co-op. Oh yeah, I remember that, I think. 24 foot trailer. <laughs> Well, that was it. Uh, nothing really fancy or anything like that. We were just out here on the reservoir. Right there, the reservoir there. Because the river's too low to go rafting right now. Um, thankfully, it's actually warmed up a little bit in the clouds. Nice fluffy clouds up there are actually showing some blue sky now. Definitely warmer down here than Red Lodge, but... Anyway, uh, it was a little sad because there were only two students out of seven that actually showed up. A couple of the students were sick, but you know, two students out of seven showing up, that's, you know, it kind of makes me sad. You know, people either, you know, not really coming to the outdoors too much anymore, or they're, you know, signing up for the course and, you know, not following through with the money they paid or doing other stuff like that. So, kind of sad, uh, but, uh, you know, I'm happy to do, do my part to help support the program. Um, you know, help the instructor support the program and do all the stuff like that. 
That being said, if you guys are ever looking into a college course, you just want to have some fun, you know, try the outdoor college or support your local outdoor programs at the colleges or schools, especially for rafters and kayakers. Those guys are the future. Support them. Make them, make them love being outside, make them love the rivers or rock climbing or whatever. That being said, I'm going to head home now and I'll catch you guys in the next video.